Level 3, right? <laughs> oh, that's 6 no, yeah. yeah. I know, but I'm doing this for you, you know? Yeah, no, I think you Happily my kid, you have to 6. Yeah. Take it off, mate. Exercise freedom. Yeah. No, no, no. Exercise freedom while they take it. <laughs> Felt great. Twelve rounds, good work. Um, top opponent. I felt great in there. I don't think I looked out of place at all. I felt that I was the better boxer. He played the game better. This is professional boxing. He played it better than me. As in, he he uh, worked more. I think it was what the um. Jack, how would you put it? Wow. Yeah, I mean, we, 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 ex, that little bit of that, that, that experience kind of came to the fore. Like, uh, you know, the, the big the big shots were, the big, nice, clean shots, I, uh, they were very even. I probably had Junior up on those, but it was the work in between. The work that, uh, it's the work that Joseph did in between that doesn't necessarily, isn't necessarily effective in terms of, like, hurting Junior, but what it's effective in doing is separating the two. So you have the you have an equal amount of clean shots landing, but it's all the kind of, like, fuddy-duddy work in between. If the judges have to differentiate the fighters, that's what they look for. And Joseph uses experience and probably did that and got, got the edge by doing that. So, um, yeah, that's what Junior was trying to say. All in all, <laughs> all, in all I felt great. I felt great. On that, on, on that basis, Junior, are you disappointed, I guess, that you didn't do that little bit more, having come in, I guess, so close? Yeah, of course. Shoulda, woulda, coulda. Shoulda, woulda, coulda. It is what it is. I accept it. I move on. I've made my, uh, I have made myself known to the world. I exposed Joseph. I felt great, you know. Um, people were talking about pressure going into the ring. I don't think I looked like I was pressured. I don't think I could... I mean, like, I don't think I looked out of place. I felt great going in there. I felt great walking in. You know, yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling great. Um, I, you know, so close to winning it. It is what it is. You know, I haven't seen a fighter land as many flush shots as you did on Joseph. Do you feel like you've, you've hurt him in that fight? Watch it again. You'll see me hurt him on the first round. Because you'll, you'll see me a few times throw that right hand when he's coming in. Um, I know when he was progressing in the pro career, people were putting him up here. I n <laughs> Deep down, I always know I got his number, but he played a bit of than me tonight, you know? Um, but yeah, but just, uh, well, yeah, but like, can I just, just as you said, I, I landed great shots on him. Um, and I thought the, thought the fight, I was smiling. Oh, yeah, I felt great, man, and it was a pleasure to be in there. Were you thrown off by the cut that happened? Uh, did that because you looked frustrated at the end of the round? I could see you, you know, maybe a swear word, or, but um, did that throw you off at all? Well, it pissed me off. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Only because this and this wasn't from a punch; they were from like rough shots. He was leading with his head a lot in the first, in the first few rounds. Eh, I think the first few rounds he was mm. like, he was like rushing me with his head quite a bit. You'll see in the first round. Um, he actually like came forward with his head, but I think, I think that first head clash hurt him more than me. But then he kept on doing it, kept on doing it, and then this happens. It, it, yeah, but that made me angry. Um, Junior like, angry, that is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's not that angry. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it doesn't look as bad now, Junior. How, like, how much was it, uh, was it hurting you in the fight in terms of like, when it was done? No, no. It, it was okay. Like, you know, no blood was streaming down in my eye. It wasn't a um, okay place in terms of like a cut, in terms of like stopping a fight. Uh, it wasn't rushing down here, it was slightly to the side. Blood was streaming down here, so it was okay. Yeah, it looked messy, but like, you know, it, 
I don't think it would have given us reason to stop the fight unless it kept on getting bigger. <clears throat> Going the distance and with a performance like that, how much confidence does it give you that more big fights might not be so far away? Yeah, well, yeah, it's always, you know, I've always been confident in my boxing ability. Um, I'm not sure what it's done for his confidence. I think I might have brought him down a bit. I think I might have brought his team's confidence down a bit. I think I exposed him quite a lot. I showed, you know, I showed, like, world boxing is really here. We are really good at boxing. Um, and I think I, I think I showed, you know, um, a bit of talent for the guys who aren't seen. So, yeah, I felt good. I felt, uh, you know, this has done nothing for my confidence, but really solidified it. And I think it made them question a bit. Yeah, you, you've been quite a stable of boxers at CKB now, with Kemi and with your foe, Shant, and, and then obviously Junior. Uh, is that something, that, is that a direction you're really trying to take the gym in and, and, and having more boxers as well? And, and we're quite a lot of uh, We did get together a couple of years ago and, and we did dinner with Doug. And uh, as you know, Doug's an Olympic uh, level boxer and we definitely made a conscious, conscientious effort to, to push that side of the uh, of the gym, we felt that um, I, I mean we just felt we had something to offer, and that um, we weren't a big name in boxing, but we could we could be one. So we we slowly but surely have built a little boxing team that's only getting stronger. How did you feel about Henry's fight tonight? Um, he's going to semi finals in two weeks. Is he a, is he a uh, uh, look, he looked good. I mean, yeah. not gonna lie, Henry made it hard for himself for sure. Um, there's things that Hemi needs to work on, but um, <coughs> look, what an excellent fight! What a what a what a what a good building fight to go rounds with someone and 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 make those sort of mistakes, and then still come up with a with a spectacular win like that. Um, man, we got to keep these guys busy. That's the thing. In this uh, in, in this current environment where fights are few and far between, it, the challenge for the guys like Hemi and Junior and the Panuhis is uh, getting them fights domestically and keeping them busy so that when the world does come back to normal, they're able to jump in these posi- into these positions that we think they can be, and that's like world-rated positions. On that note, talking about Panuvi, I, I'm not sure if the press knows this yet, but his scorecard was read out wrong. One of the cards was read out 57-57. That scorecard that read out was the was the scorecard that should have been minus one point. It was 57-56. If you look at that scorecard, I put a, f- a photograph of that scorecard, there's a 56 and a 57 written there, and they haven't crossed the 57 out. So whoever announced it has gone 57-57 and not seen the 56 in the bottom right-hand corner. So that fight uh, will be changed uh, once we lodge the The judges' scorecards are that it was a win rather than a draw. Yeah, well, it, it essentially was just the just the announcer that got it wrong. Yeah. But I mean, Mark knows more about the process for that. But yeah, I mean, you got to put an appeal on there. Yeah, you know, I mean, referees and judges' decision are final until you challenge them, of course. And um, it's just a mistake on a on a scorecard <coughs> where the guys read out the wrong thing. By the looks of it, I haven't personally seen the scorecard, but um, the guys have seen it. So you know, Panuve will. Put a protest in, and you know, do to to. Well, it's got to, we've got to do what's right for Panuve, or especially the gym. You know, that's the that's the that's the game, isn't it? You know, we go as hard as we can, and it's obviously disappointing when you lose, eh? But well, that was that, that, yeah, that was a fair we'll win. Draw. That was a fair yeah. win. That was read out mistakenly read out wrong. So uh, I mean, that's 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 pretty clear cut. That's that's black and white. Yeah. So yeah. That, that'll get changed. Mark, um, what what opportunities will this performance open up for Junior? Uh, well, Junior's going to have another hit out now. He's going to have a couple of weeks off, and then we'll get back in the gym and we'll, we'll look for a fight. And um, I think that's pretty clear that it's pretty hard to get big fights at the moment. Uh, but Junior got seen by a whole lot of people, um, and you know it was his to win. You know, like you said, he he boxed well, and he just 
you know, um, got a little bit outworked uh, around the body and the clinches and good on Joseph for playing a better game. It's a game of chess. Um, it was a really cr- like every, every round was a close round. Um, Junior certainly rocked him, talked to the referee, big shot in the second round if you rewatch the fight. Looking forward to rewatching the fight. It's hard to watch when you're sitting down and you're, and you're, and you're looking at stuff and cleaning your mouth guard like I do. Um, but, um, you know, looking forward to watching it on TV and, and seeing it properly, but it was a close fight, you know. I mean, it, you can have a fight where it's 12 rounds to nil, but every single round's close. It's just that one guy wins every round. And, you know, I mean, of course we get a whole lot of messages and texts about this and that, but about about, about the scoring. And But, I mean, we, we, you know, Joseph was a better guy on the day and played the game better, and it's just that simple. But I think that Junior showed that it was a really competitive fight. And, you know, we're really proud of him. I think what he's achieved from, you know, losing, you know, seven and a half, literally half his blood he lost when he, when he had that injury. Um, and it was a catastrophic blood loss. And, and we were, <clears throat> we qualified for, for being able to um, put blood transfusions in him because his blood was so low. And um, so to be able to kind of get his haemoglobin from 88 back up to 150 in this amount of weeks is unbelievable. So we're really proud of the kind of the journey and the adversity that he's overcome. And I think what we saw from that pressure is we had to focus more on mental strength. We had to focus more on strategy. And we knew that we, we wouldn't have the red blood cells which carry oxygen to be able to outwork. Uh, but, you know, the guys that we had on the team um, from, <clears throat> you know, Glenn Kearney, David Neathy, you know, Eugene, Doug, um, Mike Schofield, I mean, Harley. I mean, we really, really put a team around them to... Dave, kind of, Dave Neath. Yeah, Dave Neath, yeah. Yeah, so we're really proud of, of what we've got to. And, you know, it's obviously gut-wrenching when you lose a fight like that, eh? Like, we're, we're pretty gutted. We like winning, you know? So we're pretty subdued but because we, we're gutted. So we can't wait to fight him again. And we can't fight, wait to fight someone else good again, you know? How bad would you want him again, Junior? <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, I don't think he will avoid... I think they'll avoid him at all costs. You know? um, I expose a lot of his, uh, his, um, his weaknesses tonight. I showed my level. I think they're going to try and avoid me, but I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm keen to fight him any time. I'm keen to fight any time, but... You know, we'll just uh, we'll just let um, we'll just let things go in the path that they choose. Mm-hmm. So yeah, if it comes around, I'm taking it on both hands, man. Uh, how different as a fighter was he from you on the amateur day? Not too many. Oh, he yeah, he was smarter with the um, with the with those little um, in between moments. You know, he's smarter in those moments. Um, yeah, yeah that was uh, yeah yeah. Yeah, yeah, man. The clinches, I wasn't doing enough in the clinches. He was just working the body. Not much in it, but it's um, it's uh, favourable in the eyes of the judges in a close round. Um, yeah, but you know, I f- yeah, I felt I, f- I felt great in there, man. I felt great in there. I'm keen to go again. Um, give him another boxing lesson. I'm, yeah, I'm feeling good, man. Uh, Kevin Barry was sort of saying that uh, he could hear you grimacing uh, from the body shots, like during the clinches. Um, and when he was unloading of the body, is, is any of that true? No way. <laughs> no way. I, I spar him here, I heal, and we, and like, I've got to sound like this, and that guy has to smash my body. I'm in, I am in great condition when it comes to the body. You're not, you're not going to drop me with a body shot. He, nah, never, never hurt me there. And I know I hurt him. Yeah, yeah. So this was a, this was like when I was getting my second hand wrapped, um, but you know, but like so are you I using second hand wraps? Huh? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah, I was getting like my left hand wrap, and then they were talking about that level three thing. But you know, it doesn't affect me. I have a job to do. Either way, I'm going to do it. Um, we were stuck uh, to our plan. They wanted, <laughs> they wanted to move the, the fight time, and but we had to warm Junior up properly. I mean, his, his hands were wrapped by um, a quarter past ten. Um, we prepared for a kind of a twenty-minute warm-up and a bit of um, bit of relax before the fight. So we just stuck with that process and just had to get him prepared. There was a bit of pressure to go a bit earlier from from um, <clears throat> you know different agencies, but we just we 
our main responsibility is just to get him warmed up and ready so he can so he's safe in there as well. You know, because we've had a hard you know 15, 16 weeks, haven't we? So mm. so yeah, but we just kept our plan. You know, the plan was to fight and to and to, and to do our thing. You know, we just had to focus on that. And we got it that we're in level three, of course, but you know, just just the way it is, isn't it? Right, out of our control, but we can control the warm up and control the him, oh. and we did that. During your, uh, what would you change next time? Yeah, just being a little bit smarter with um, with uh, distance, not being so keen to clinch on because he works well in those little clinches, you know. Um, also, other things. What do you reckon? <laughs> <coughs> no, look, you're gonna email Kevin Barry, aren't you? Yeah, yeah what you're gonna do. email Joseph Parker the gym piece. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, look, I think. I think what Junior Junior ultimately is alluding to there is that you're talking about a guy, a well, well credentialed fighter, a world class fighter, and that was Junior's first opportunity to fight someone who's uh, held a world title not so long ago, and to see where he's at against a guy of that calibre uh, who represents a lot of guys that, that you know, future opponents, or who represents the pinnacle of where we need to be skill wise, and. There were moments in that fight uh, where Junior did, uh, you know, held his own and, and was awesome. Um, but at, at the end of the day, yeah, yeah like he, he showed that he can be there, but he didn't do enough. And um, can he change that? Can he work on that? Can he can he improve on that? Yes, he can. But he, yeah, so it's definitely a loss. But we're gonna take some positives out of that. And um, yeah, man, when you lose, like. Like if the time for talk is over, we lost. Like we definitely have to, you know, eat the humble pie here. Like and Joseph gets the credit. Joseph won the day. His team get to celebrate. We get to um, go back to the gym on Monday. We don't get a holiday and a celebration. Oh, we can't. No, it's a level three now. We can't get back to the gym. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what I mean. We got to go back to the drawing board. They get to celebrate a little bit, and then uh, I mean, I'm just glad. That, to be honest, I, I feel like. I take I take these forays into boxing, but every time I take I leave them, I feel like I need to cleanse my soul. To be honest, <laughs> <laughs> it's like the honest truth, like especially when you're part of the Higgins show, like it's, it's just there's all sorts of debacles going on. It's yeah. You, you heading out tomorrow with uh, with Izzy as well? I yeah, I will be heading out tomorrow night. Uh, tomorrow night, yeah, flying flying to LA and then to Vegas, um, back to. Back to MMA, back to uh, another. Were the gloves of the same? Yeah. <laughs> look, <laughs> now nah, look, bo boxing stepped in history, and there's a certain etiquette and there's a way you act. It's a little bit, a lot different to the, how the mixed martial artists and the kickboxing acts. Um, uh, but it's entertaining, and it's all, all about. Uh, it's not necessarily, you know, a lot of it's about getting one up on any bit of uh, intel on anything you can do. Like, yeah. I mean, and, and, and the Higgins show is a special show, as you all know, like, it's, 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 it's a special show. I enjoyed working with Dave, he's very, uh, he's charismatic, he's entertaining, he was on my ass every time, can you say this at the bench conference, <laughs> can you do this, do you mind racking up Kevin on this, you know, and I was like, yeah. And for the most part, uh, me and Dave worked really well, and uh, we, it, was, it was an excellent show, so. Hello, everyone. Just reflecting on your illness that you had, and and how serious was it, and did it play in your mind like leading up to this fight? No, no. Um, no point in worrying about stuff that you can't change. It happened. I felt better. I worked on things that will help me in a different way. Um, things, you know, things were as good as they can be. So I worked on my mental a lot. Um, watch the, watch the walking again. You'll see me happy. You know, that's a that's a that's a different me compared to the other fights that I've had. The other fights I had, I go in there very tense, very nervous. This time, I felt I I felt great, but that's because of the continuous work that I done with my um, with with the team, with the um, with the mental coach, with the breathing coach. This helps me a lot, and you know, I just feel great. I felt that um, you know, I felt great walking in. I walk into my son's favorite song. You see me saying his name as I walk in. That puts me in a great mood. So yeah, yeah, I felt great, man.
Can you tell us what you what you told uh, Joseph Parker at the press conference at the at the weigh-in when you were face to face? Oh, I think I said he knows what I said, but I don't think he heard me because I was pretty loud in there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, still no answer. All right, are we done? Nice one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, uh, could you hear me?